Hello and welcome to this presentation on our study on Swedish experience of social LCA. My name is Matthias Linkvist and I have been the project leader for this study in my role as a researcher at Chalmers University of Technology at Environmental Systems Analysis. Also in the team has been Maria Ryberg, who is a project manager at the Swedish Lifecycle Center. Saying a few words about the background of this study, it much comes from social sustainability challenges, both from a practical perspective and from a research perspective. Regarding the practical perspective, uh, we have identified social sustainability in product chains to be a challenge. This can be seen uh, by looking at the same time at the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals that are much on social sustainability and the more than a decade long development of social LCA. Regarding research, uh, we have identified a limited degree of knowledge on social LCA when it comes to informing actual decision making and communication. And also, for example, practical aspects such as carrying its own cost when performed by companies and other organizations. Regarding the outline of this study, the aim has been to map social LCA experience and consideration. And uh, the study has been going on between October 2019 and March 2020, um, with uh, a focus on interviews that were carried out between November 2019 and January 2020. And uh, the focus has been on Sweden due to the prominence of life cycle thinking and perspectives in Sweden. And in the study, we have covered 11 organizations in Sweden. These have been chosen because they have shown a substantial interest in life cycle perspectives. And these organizations can roughly be divided into six businesses and five intermediaries, where the intermediaries are either research institutes or government agencies. And to give an idea of the size of the organizations, each of the businesses have a worldwide between 5,000 and 100,000 employees. And the intermediates uh, have worldwide each between 100 and 10,000 employees. As mentioned, the study has uh, focused on interviews. Uh, in the study, we have carried out 13 explorative interviews with 14 interviewers. And these interviews uh, can be divided into 10 interviews that were each uh, between 15 and 70 minutes long and three email interviews. And to give an idea of um, how many of the approached organizations uh, that partook, uh, we in total contacted uh, 13, so rather a large share of them uh, participated. So moving on to the results, I would first like to give a bit of an overview. Uh, so we identified uh, four themes through the interviews, uh, through a bottom-up uh, analysis. Um, the first regards the extent to which a social LCA had been used in the organization, uh, which was uh, rather limited. Uh, second, uh, we looked at uh, why the organizations uh, still seem to be uh, rather interested in social LCA. And also uh, we found uh, some uh, aspects on both opportunities and uh, limitations covered through the interviews, and particularly uh, the issues of social aspects being relevant and the current social LCA methodology being impractical was covered. 
looking at the experience of a social LCA at the organizations, we identified that it uh, had been used uh, in two of the organizations, one business and one intermediary. In the business, it had been tested in an environmental communication framework already used there. And a major conclusion was that they found it very difficult to communicate SLCA results in this framework. And that the intermediary SLCA had been used together with businesses, either for development or for evaluation. And the conclusion uh, was that uh, the coverage of many social aspects in social LCA can help to give an overview but they were missing practical guidelines. Regarding why the organizations uh, were interested in social LCA, we found only a few and short reasons given explicitly. Um, potential uh, reasons could be risk management, um, to follow or to be prepared to follow new regulation, a competitive advantage or um, generally to be oriented in what is going on. Uh, and um, it might be uh, that uh, the interest in social LCA uh, is obvious uh, to the organizations and therefore uh, need not to be explicitly justified. Regarding social LCA, uh, opportunities in the future, we identified three aspects uh, from the interviews. First, uh, many of the interviews spontaneously mentioned uh, many different uh, relevant uh, social sustainability aspects, including child labor, corruption and employment. And uh, these are generally covered in current social LCA already. Also, we identified that uh, so far the organizations had mainly in the product chains focused on social sustainability regarding direct suppliers and therefore a longer chain perspective uh, could be used through social LCA. And third, uh, it was highlighted that um, the scientific approach of social LCA might attract research and development units and therefore be useful for product uh, design and therefore enter an early and important phase in uh, production. Regarding potential limitations of current SLCA methodology, a few methodology aspects were identified through the interviews. Um, it was mentioned that LCA in general and therefore social LCA might not be so holistic, especially regarding sustainability over longer time perspectives. Also, the method might be arbitrary because of the great flexibility to select which social impacts to study. Uh, also, it was mentioned that current methodology might not be enough specific. Uh, it was highlighted that social impacts uh, could vary greatly between uh, different sites in the same country and also change rapidly over time. Also, uh, it was mentioned that uh, current social LCA methodology did little to help uh, continuous improvements and uh, that it also did not really handle the potential adverse aspects of, for example, moving production from one country to another. Also regarding potential limitations, a few aspects of application uh, were mentioned. Um, SLCA uh, was uh, to a rather large extent found currently to be impractical. Uh, for example, costly, difficult to use, time-consuming and immature. Also, it was found difficult to present results from SLCA studies. 
and uh, the interviewees uh, to rather some degree found the methodology unfocused and asked for, for example, clear and good risk lists. Um, also, it was uh, emphasized that uh, it might be more relevant to target, for example, retailers than industry, since uh, retailers can put a pressure on the whole upstream supply chain. We have also uh, discussed uh, the findings from the study uh, from some different perspectives. And I would like to mention two of them here. Um, First, we found that the interviews seem to be representative for the organizations. And second, that current literature seems to cover few of our types of findings, and particularly regarding simplifying social LCA. And to conclude, um, we find a possible contradiction in the results. Um, a request both for simplification and for a more comprehensive and exact methodology. So the question is if this poses new directions for social LCA development. And for those further interested in the study, we refer to our report, Insights on Social Lifecycle Assessment in Practice in Sweden which can be found at the Swedish Lifecycle Center webpage under publications. And with that, I would like to thank you for your attention.